I don't know how many takes this will take, but let's do this now. So I am giving my first impressions of Throne and Liberty. I am nowhere near beating the game. I don't have that much time. The game seems pretty fun. I have been playing early access since Sunday, off and on. And the leveling seems fairly quick. I've been hearing that from other people. It's kind of a make your own class system. So like you choose two different weapon types and you combine your abilities from there. Each weapon has its own abilities and you can level four base stats. The um, game is, it's very fast paced. The very action oriented for a tab targeting game. In fact, I think the biggest downfall I've seen the combat is I've been using a controller a little bit. Kind of, it kind of defaulted to it. And I said, I, you know what? I'll try it. And at least on the controller, it feels very clunky sometimes with the targeting. I want to do more of what do you call it? A trial with the keyboard and see how that is. And we'll go from there. Let me pull up uh, Throne Liberty stats. Do this off the cuff, give my impression and my thought on it. And the game thus far is pretty fun. Now, I am aware of the fact that you can buy Lucent, which is apparently how you purchase um, things on the auction house. That is pay to win at its core. So if you're okay with that, you can play the game. If you're not, don't play it. Now, that being said, from what I understand, cra you can craft pretty much anything. You can loot pretty much anything. It's just, that's the way they monetize it, by the auction house currency. Now, that also means that you could theoretically craft up a bunch of stuff and sell it and get Lucent without paying a single thing. And then spend it on things in the cash shop or buy more stuff on the auction house. So essentially it'd be like playing WoW and being able to straight buy gold. Oh, wait. You can do that. Wait, no, Puddle, you can't do that. Yes, you can. You can buy a WoW token and sell a WoW token. The difference is they don't play around with it. They just fall on the mid what it is. And so you can just straight use it in the cash shop too, instead of just for wow subscription time. They don't have a subscription. They don't have a buy to play model. They have a free to play model. So this is how they do it. It's pretty much wow's system. Wait, wow is a buy to play game. I know that. Yes, it is. Wow's pay to win. No, Paddle, wow's not pay to win. Yes, it is. It has that wow token. So if you're okay with that. I don't see anything really holding you up in this game. Like, it's pretty fun. I think I'm going to start trying to do more keyboard and mouse, especially as I'm getting more abilities. It's feeling like I need to get that way. But I want to at least give the keyboard, or not keyboard, the controller a chance to see how that felt. Because I've never seen an MMO do controller and it be completely right and feeling, and I want to see how that was. Um, examples, but. It's just it seemed like you always end up needing to get to the keyboard. But I at least gave it a try. Um I've been running a character with a great sword and a staff. I haven't tried anything else. And it's pretty fun. I'm enjoying it. I like the um It's just a straight DPS character, and I don't even play DPS. I'll probably respec him into a more of a tank. Now that is another thing. Um, if you get up to say level fifty and you decide that hey, I don't wanna be this class anymore, instead of re-rolling a whole new character, and I think a level fifty is the max of her. Instead of re-rolling a whole new character, you just switch your skills. You switch your weapons and you level up the weapon. You're already at fifty. You have the big stat boost from your core four stats. 
which are let's go ahead and get that right now strength dexterity intelligence and perception so strength increases hp regeneration maximum health and resistances dexterity increases critical hit chance evasion rate and movement speed intelligence uh cooldown reduction maximum mana mana regeneration perception is increased chance of landing hits hit rate increased chance to land crowd control effects those are really important things to have so you need to spread them apart but at the same time in your min maxing goal uh per with your class and stuff i feel sure at a certain point you're gonna have to like favor certain ones over others but like when i've been playing through leveling up the skill point feels very impactful it's like especially like let's use do dexterity as an example when i level up my dexterity one point i feel like i really am swinging faster with my sword so it's like wow that's really cool um so it feels impactful and that's what you want in a game you don't want to go and have to feel like you have to gain 10 levels to feel like your leveling made an impact um you do not have to level up right then you can save the points and level them all up at one time uh leveling feels pretty fast the game is very fast and fluid i don't know how i'm gonna like the end game if i'm gonna be like oh yeah let's keep playing this and do all this here content or if i'm just gonna be like ah, i'm bored uh it's pvp ve so <laughs> thanks sea of thieves there's pv elements there's pvp elements you can go immediately from PvP to PvE and vice versa. So, I mean, it's like putting on Overt in Star Wars Galaxies and running around and doing missions. All Don't be surprised if you get jumped. But at the same time, I'm not sure exactly if you can turn PvP on and off. I haven't got that far. I'm not real sure. This is like more of... Like I said, my first impression, this is my opinion on playing the game thus far. Thus far, if you want to play a game that you can hop in, have a little bit of fun, and hop off, the game feels rewarding. It does not feel like I have to spend money to have fun. Now, if you do the Twitch viewing, you can get free unlocks, including some currency. You can... Like, I bought the early access. I shouldn't have probably done it, but I bought the base early access just to be able to play it. And it gave me a title and some morphs. It's like, and I think all the morphs were like um, mounts. And I like the mount system. So mounts, instead of mounting something, you actually become it. So <clears throat> you just shapeshift like you're a freaking druid in WoW. It's very fluid very very fluid um like you take you'll be running around as a wolf and then jump in the water and you turn to otter and start swimming around uh you jump from heights and yes you can like batman grapple yourself up to heights and then jump off and turn to a bird and fly around it's pretty fun the world is very open it feels extremely satisfying to play in I'm not uh I'm not quite sure what to expect in higher levels, like I said. But I think this will be a game that you can at least play and have fun start and stop. And not feel like you're just completely at people's mercy. Now, if you can't turn PvP off and everyone's flagged for PvP and somebody runs up and just starts able to gank you, then yeah, I could see this game being unfun very very quickly because at that point you're talking about a game that if you're not playing and putting the time in you can't even sit down and just passively enjoy it. so i have not seen that happen i've not been attacked by anybody and i've not attacked it so i'm unsure how that system but if that becomes the case then it could quickly devolve into something much worse than cfds running I mean, see if these at least it's like limited to five ships per server. But imagine if you logged into a game and like anybody could attack you at any time. That would just be a disaster for a casual player. Um, 
the game is, like I said, very fun, and I do like how you can kind of just build your own class. Wands are healing, staffs are damage magic. Uh, look like the only tank I'm seeing is sword and board or sword and shield. Uh, you can kind of get tanky ish uh, doing the great sword. So, I mean, you're, you're feeling that, the power there. You're putting out the DPS, but, you know, you're also a little more tanky because, you know, you better be investing in strength doing that. So I've been investing a lot of strength and intelligence and with some dexterity and occasionally perception. In fact, my dexterity, intelligence, and strength are kind of evened out right now. I'm not far. I think we're around level 15. It's I'm not real far into the game, but what I've played thus far, I would say it's a fun game. I would give it a try for free. If you like it, if you want to spend money, that's up to you. But I would definitely recommend it as a try at the price of zero dollars and zero cents. Um, now let's talk about comparing it to other games. When I compare it to Dragon's Dogma Two, you know what? I, there's some things that kind of feel kind of similar to Dragon's Dogma Two. Um, I guess definitely in the weapons category, because your class is your weapon. Very similar. I think that's kind of an Eastern thing where your weapon is your class. Uh, I kind of like and dislike that. I wish they had that system more often. Uh, at the same time, I don't. Um, like, let's take WoW, for example. I wouldn't necessarily want your weapon to be your class there, but having the ability to, say, dock your class and pick up another class on the same character could be interesting. And not be like where I want to completely have to re-roll a character. Like you just pick up the switch to class and do, but I don't know how that would work. But there's so many quests and wow, it wouldn't affect anything. It's more class. It just change your level, maybe cut your level in half or something, and do it that way. I don't know. See, I think wow, a game like that, it's just better just to has roll a new character. Um, way. Throne on Liberty has designed it. You get two character slots from what I'm seeing. I don't know if you can buy more. And just level it. And when you get tired of that class, just instead of re-rolling a new character, just switch your weapon and level that weapon. So, I mean, I could see where that could be beneficial and really get into the fun and meat and potatoes of the game without having to completely level completely up. Now, yes, you will have to level your weapon, but you have all the stat bonuses from leveling your main level, which means, yeah, you're not going to be starting at scratch completely. Uh, uh, Dragon Age. They all gone. It's awful. Like, seriously, what in the heck were they thinking? But it's the greatest. What? Because you, cause you're a dude who thinks you're a chick and you can't slide your chest. You can't slide this. Now, granted, there are no chest sliders in Throne and Liberty, but you don't need them to make a character that looks male or female. You know, freaking Dragon Age, everything looks like a, <laughs> a chick, like a dude pretending to be a chick. I'm sorry. <laughs> everything. <laughs> Everything I've seen come out of that, it looks like a, uh, looks like a wokey come up with it. it. The game's gonna be a disaster. If you're looking for a game to play, that maybe is scratching that medieval itch, and you want a new game, play this instead of Dragon Age. If you want something with some of the story and companion fun, of um. Dragon Age, I would suggest either Baldur's Gate or Dragon's Dogma. That would be my suggestion. Um, that This is going to wrap this video up. It's already went too long. I didn't realize I was recording for this long. I had fun doing this. <laughs> so please hit like, subscribe, and follow the channel. It's Puddle Jumper. We're on Twitch, YouTube, and Twitter, as well as Rumble as our primary platforms. Those there we're focusing on we're over on kick also but 
we're just gonna focus on those four primarily. When we can stream a game or something, we will. And uh we'll be doing that on Twitch and YouTube. And possibly some Twitter as well. Um, and I'll try and put uploads up on Rumble and YouTube. And I'm not putting them up on Twitter too. So if you want to follow us, please do. And we'll uh, keep trying to put out content. And grow the channel. Please like and subscribe. Like I said, we've had a lot of growth the last week. And I'm so thankful for it. Please keep a watch on us. And we'll be trying to put out more news and discussions. Thank you and have a wonderful day.